every soldier in the army that wants to be a medic has to do a combat medic course. Uh, when I was in the army, I was their commander, a commander of a combat medic course. Uh, once a week, uh, we take an hour off the medicine uh, and off the medical issues, and we deal with either moral dilemmas or education or history or anything that doesn't have to do with medicine for uh, for once a week. Uh, and in one of those classes, I uh, I put up a scenario in front of the in front of the soldiers for them to deal with. And the dilemma was if what happens if there's a suicide uh, bombing uh, and there's six people down, five are soldiers and one is the suicide bomber itself who bombed himself inside the crowd. Um, and he's the most seriously injured, meaning he's the one that needs to get uh, medicine, medical help first. Uh, and you, as a medic, what do you do? Do you run towards him and start treating him? Or do you run to your friends, which is the most uh, emotional reaction that every person does, and go and treat your friends? Of course, there were a lot of answers, uh, but at the end of the day, I think all of them understood that, yes, they're soldiers, yes, they're human beings, but when they're in their job, they're first of all medics, and they took, they took an oath, and first of all, they need to treat people, and it doesn't matter if they just blow themselves up in the middle of a platoon of soldiers. Um, and again, it's really hard to realize that, you know, you go and you treat someone that wanted to kill you, but then you go and treat him instead of your friend.